Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me for this week's vlog. Uh, something a little bit unusual, you don't see a chalk stream behind me for a change. What you do see is the River Tees in County Durham. It's an absolutely beautiful river. Uh, Durham is a, a county of outstanding beauty and uh, the Tees is one of the high points for my money. It's a cracking river and what we're going to do here over the next few days is we're going to fish a competition called the Rivers Masters. This has been run by Scott Nellens of Fly Fish North and it's the first time the event's been run here on the Tees. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's important to get some time on the river and try fishing methods that you might not often use, such as wet flies. Uh, there isn't much call for wet flies on the chalk streams, so it's something that I need to practice quite a bit when I go away. The Tees has got a healthy population of brown trout. They're not very big, but occasionally a surprise is thrown up. And this is a cracker at about a pound. Whilst heavy bugging the weir pool, I managed to get this fish, which is my best Tees fish to date. With all the practice done, it's time to walk the competition sections and just have a look where you can get access, the best spots to start, and just what you might be in for if you're lucky enough to get a good beat in the draw. It's always good to get a nice bacon roll down your throat before you go fishing for the day. There's a little bit of nerves in the car park as people are waiting to start the first sessions and people that are controlling are looking to where to go. There's also a good crack with fellow anglers. We're into the uh, second session now. I fished the first session with uh, Del Spry and we managed to get 25 fish, which we think is a session win. So how it works is we compete with the other two teams that were in our sector, which was sector A. And uh, the way Scott's doing it this year, because of social distancing, fish aren't being measured. They're just being held up in the net and then returned and then the controller marks down the fish, recording the time of the first fish, and that's how we've done it. So I'm now controlling Brian Lilly and Paul Runnick on section B3, and they're in some lovely glassy flat water, and they've, they've spread out quite well, and um, they've adopted a, a, a duo approach, which is a, a, a highly buoyant dry fly with a, a lighter nymph, and the reason they've put the nymph on um, is to get turnover of the dry because
because we're in the Tees Valley and uh, the wind is whistling down here so it's not the, the easiest conditions to fish a dry fly. So let's uh, have a wee look and see how they're getting on. Last night in the pub, uh, we were having our pub meal and uh, I asked the lads if they could give me their top tip for uh, competition fishing. And uh, Graham Lumsden's top tip was always make sure you hit the sweetest water in your beat first and uh, get a fish early on. Just get that bit of confidence and uh, fish the secondary water after you've really given the sweet stuff a going over. Dell's top tip was make sure all your kit is checked, make sure your landing net is secure, you know where your fly boxes are, your dry fly boxes, nymph boxes, just so everything's slick and you're able to change quickly methods wise. Now my top tip is make sure you're fishing with two guys that know what they're talking about and uh, Dell and Graham are top blokes and I think it's that you've got to trust what they're telling you. Uh, I'm by no means a, a great river angler but I'm in great company is what I would say and uh, it really really helps, it, it elevates my own fishing and every time I come out fishing with these guys I'm always learning something. Well we're halfway through session two and the lads are doing not too bad, they've got a fish each and uh, they've lost several fish as well. What you've got to bear in mind is this water's been fished already by another team and uh, they're trying to find the areas where the other anglers haven't put their flies. So and the wading in this section is really tough. There's been a few stumbles but nobody's been swimming yet. So let's see how they get on for the rest of the session. Well, Brian and Paul are just having a little corn flab and they're discussing what they're going to do. They pretty much started at the bottom of the beat and they've fished it all the way up to the top of the beat. And I think they're talking about now going back to the bottom again and to, to a bit calmer water. They've had some quite tumbly, fast water and, and they've fished up it with dry fly, which uh, has been tough going because the wind doesn't half whistle through here. But, well, there's a, there's a pretty impressive field of anglers in this first competition on the tees. We've got the world champion and uh, several members of the world team here, actually. And we've also got the winner of last year's EPP. I think the national champion's here at the moment. So uh, a great field of anglers and hopefully uh, guys that are um, less able like myself will be able to pick up some tips from these boys because uh, that's one of the things about competition fishing. You either love it or hate it, I love it. Um, I've learned everything I know really from the competition anglers. I don't consider myself particularly good on the rivers and uh, it's my teammates I rely on heavily for steering me in the right direction and they've not done badly so far. So uh, they're fishing the beat above me and I hope they're doing okay. It's very difficult to sit and control other guys when you know your teammates are just above and I'm sure they're working extremely hard to keep us in contention. Uh, there's about an hour left of this session, so I'm really keen for it to whistle by and see how the boys have got on.
Many thanks to Scott Nellens for putting this great competition on. It was grand to see lots of people getting on and learning new tactics. Congratulations to all the prize winners and I hope to see you all there again next year.